Welcome to the channel today. I've got a mower from a friend at work. Uh, it worked last season. He went to start it this season, and he said it wouldn't fire. So we're going to see if we can get this thing going with minimal effort. So we're going to start out just by doing some quick visual observations, um, just to level set and see where this thing is. Overall, the condition looks good. Uh, it's in. It's pretty clean cosmetically. I'm just going to do some minor things like. See if it has oil in it, see if it has gas in it. Let me check those things real quick, and then we'll verify the problem, which is that it can't start. It's got clean oil on the dipstick, it's not black, it really looks light brown, pretty good. Let's see what we got in here. It's got gas in it. It does appear to, uh, doesn't have any like varnish type smells, so let's see if it'll start. Looks like that's a no. Let's just do a quick check on the air filter, see what it looks like. Pretty clean. Doesn't look bad. Take that off for now. So just as something quick, uh, while I have the air filter out, I'm just going to spray some starting fluid into the air intake on the carburetor, and I'm going to pull it again just to see if it fires. Wants to. That tells me it's got spark. died, which means that uh, it probably isn't getting fuel, which means that the carburetor is probably gummed up. But I'm going to do it again. If there's anything that's remotely able to be sucked through a, a jet, maybe we'll get it to suck it through and maybe that'll be it. I'm definitely starving. Let me do another time with preparation to do it some more. from a no start condition to it runs, it doesn't run well. So that tells me the carb is so little gummed up. Um, to me it's easier to try some basic stuff before we go ripping anything apart. So I'm going to get some uh, carb cleaner and shoot that in there while it's running. Actually I might shoot some in there first and uh, we'll see if we can get some of that stuff to loosen up and do it the easy way prior to taking the carb apart and cleaning it manually. I'll spray some of this in. I'm going to start it again and do it more while it's running. Put my little straw on there. I always seem to lose these. Do a little starter fluid. a bunch of carb cleaner in there, let it suck it in, and I'll try and start it here again in a minute. So 
So, so far it's running pretty good now, and this is all just within a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put the air filter back on and the cover for the air filter. Um, that'll restrict the airflow a little bit. It'll be, uh, you know, it's obviously more, it'll, it'll be realistic running conditions. They're not always like this. Based on the outer uh, cleanliness of the mower and just how new it is, I didn't suspect that we'd get into anything too big problem-wise with this. I didn't expect that there wouldn't be spark. I didn't expect that the carburetor would be super gummed up. Um, so I'd, I'd like to try the easy stuff first before we dig deep. Um, the next steps I would have taken had the starter fluid and the uh, carb cleaner not worked is I simply would have taken my air compressor and blew out the fuel uh, inlet hose into the carburetor. Sometimes uh, that will force out any gum that gets in there. Uh, that, in this case, I didn't have to do that. Um, while I have it here, we, I mentioned that the oil was clean, so if the oil was dirty, I would have changed it, put new oil in it, but it looks good. Uh, I'm just gonna flip it over really quick and look at the blade. Uh, on this one, it does look like it's hit some rocks. Nothing major, but while we have it here, we might as go might as well go ahead and uh, sharpen the blade. attach the spark plug wire and I'm going to start it back up make sure there's no odd vibrations or anything like that and just make sure everything sounds normal and then that should be it um, at this point because there's no other real problems with the mower uh, we're going to deem it done. We're going to load it up in the truck and I'll give it back to my buddy tomorrow. Thanks for watching.